Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Studio Jen where I teach you everything you need to know about creating videos and content for YouTube or for the web. My channel focuses on how to build your own YouTube channel and audience and also on how to design and create videos, images and graphics for your own projects whether that be for social media, your blogs or your websites. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. In this video, I'm going to show you where to get free background music for your videos. I'll discuss four different methods or websites where you can download royalty and copyright free music that you can use in your own videos without having to give credit to the creator or the music author or pay any fees whatsoever. This will allow you to add music to your videos that you share online to make them more engaging. So let's get into it. The first website I recommend is pixabay.com. At the top, you're going to click on the Music tab. And here you have royalty-free music downloads with thousands of music and audio tracks that are free for commercial and non-commercial use. So here's some examples if you scroll down. Now you can organize these by genre, by mood, by movement. So let's see, I'm going to click on Beats. This will pop up, you can see there's 78 different tracks that you know have a beat to them. So let's try the first one. It gives you a little bit of a preview and if you want to download it, just click on download. And like it says here, crediting isn't required but linking back is greatly appreciated, but you don't have to. So you can go ahead and the file is automatically downloaded here. You could also search by mood. So you can see there's 147 that have a bright mood to them. So let's try this one. You can also see here you know, cartoons, mystery, you can click on show more to see even more different genres. You can even see there's cartoons, chase scene. And you can also type in, so let's say I wanted some country music. You can type in country and it will show you we've got two different genres, modern country, traditional country. You can click on clear all filters to go back to the start. And if you click on this little icon here, it shows you all the different genres that apply to this song. So maybe this will give you some ideas. You're like, okay, actually I want epic. I want to see what other epic uh, songs are available. And then all of these different songs they have classified under epic. If we look here at the Pixabay license, our license empowers creators and protects our community. We want to keep it as simple as possible. Here is an overview of what Pixabay content can and can't be used for. So you can use all content on Pixabay for commercial or non-commercial use across print and digital, except in the cases where it's not allowed. Attribution is not required. You don't have to give credit to the contributor and you can make modifications to content. So if you downloaded the music track, you could make some edits you want to make it your own and that's fine too. The only thing you cannot do is you cannot resell the Pixabay images or videos so you can go ahead and use these in all of your videos without any issues whatsoever. Even if it's for a video that someone has paid you to create, if you've compiled the video together, you're allowed to use that as well. So the next website I want to show you is mixkit.co. So M-I-X-K-I-T dot co. And here you can click on stock music and you've got astounding free stock music for you to use in your next video project for free. So you can scroll down here and they've got all sorts of different examples of free ones you can use and just click on it to try it out. If you want to download it, just click on the download icon and it will instantly download right here for you to use. At the top here, we can search by genre. So you've got all sorts of really great um, different genres by mood and by tag as well. So let's type in party, for example. You can go ahead and press play. You can see there's 17 free party stock music tracks. If we go back here, we can also search. So let's say you want to search for something corporate. If you're doing an explainer video for someone, for a client, you've got all these 42 free corporate stock music tracks. Mm -hmm. 
So there's so many um, awesome different stock music that you can use here and they're all completely free to use. I love this website, it's great. Jim. Okay, so this is another website that I highly recommend. If we look at the Mix Kit license, I want to show you this because I want to prove to you that you are able to use these songs. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, getting a license. If you look here, you're allowed to use any song you find on this website in your podcast, social media video posts, online marketing ads, educational purposes, and YouTube videos. So they have a little asterisk here beside YouTube videos. It says, if you receive a claim, please forward the details to team at mixkit.co for assistance. So sometimes in YouTube, if something pops up and says, oh, you can't use this, there's been a copyright, you would just have to uh, send the details to this here and they would undo the claim in the event that there was a claim that said you couldn't use this. So you're not allowed to use these in CDs or DVDs. TV and radio broadcasts and video games, but everything else for your general web use you can use. Okay, the next website I want to show you is Free Music Archive, your number one resource for free music and royalty free music. So here we're going to click under Search FMA, the iconic Creative Commons music community. Okay, when you first click on it, it will say zero tracks found, but that's because we have to you know, go to something first. So at the top here, under genres, you can click blues, classical, country. Let's go to electronic. And here you can see all these different, you know, there's thousands and thousands of different songs here that you can try out. Let's click on chill out. And preview the, met the song by clicking the play icon. And then here you can click download to download the song then click here in the little three icons and you can click download and now you can go ahead and use this song here you can also look under curators and check these different categories out for example music for video okay now this one was a little bit different from the other i wanted to check how do we know that we can use all of these songs since there's thousands of them i went ahead clicked here on the license guide under free music archive, um, the Creative Commons licenses. Creative Commons licenses are the most common sort of license on our site. They are designed to fit on top of traditional copyright, meaning the artists are sharing their works with these provisions. They still own the copyright to their work. When you see one of these symbols on our site next to a song, it tells you how you may or may not use the track. So if you see um, this icon here, that means they want you to attribute and give them credit so depending on the artist, they have a, might have a different Creative Commons license. So just to make sure that you're able to use the song that you downloaded, you can go ahead, for example, here, um, if I typed in jazz, I found this is the name of the artist here. You can click on their name to get to their profile. And you can see this artist has 47 different tracks. Let's say you scroll down, you can click on license and more info. And here you can see this is their license that they have. If you click on that, it says here, you are free to share, copy, and redistribute the material in any medium or format. Um, and this one, for example, they want you to attribute, you must give appropriate credit, provide a link to the license, and indicate if changes were made. Um, and you have to use this for non-commercial purposes. So for example, if you had a YouTube video, you'd be able to use this song in it, but you might have to put in a little link to the artist so or give credit that this is the artist who made it. So depending on which artist you're using, they might have a different um, Creative Commons license. Some of them, maybe they don't care. You can do whatever you want with the song and others you have to credit them. So just make sure to go to the profile of the artist and click on their license type to see what the requirements are. And if you don't want to worry about having to attribute an author and just use any song you want, then I recommend you use Pixabay or Mixit because you do not need to give um, credit to the author in those two websites. But in case you want a larger uh, volume of songs available to you, you can do that by using the free Music Archive website. And finally, I want to show you that you can use the audio library within YouTube to add free background music to your YouTube videos. All you have to do is click on the little circle of your profile icon, then click on YouTube Studio, 
Then you're going to scroll down until you come to Audio Library. And here you have all of these different songs available for you to use. And you can search within the library and you do not have to, if you click on attribution not required, you do not have to give any credit to these authors for using them. So what we can do is type in, for example, if we click on this icon here, we can search. So let's type in inspirational and you can put search for inspirational, track title contains inspirational, mood inspirational. I'm going to click on mood inspirational. And then all of these different songs and there's many, you can just click here to go to the next page and keep searching for all the different songs that there are. And you can try any of them. And um, you can just click on play audio track to preview what the song sounds like. And you can click here on download audio track and you can go ahead and use this in any other project. So let's say you want to use one of these songs for your social media post or something on Facebook. And this song you can feel free to use anywhere. Let's type in corporate. Okay, you can go ahead and just click download if you like the song. You can sort by added. So some of these were in 2020. A lot of these um, are quite recent. You can search by artist, mood, and you can keep searching. So let's go upbeat. You can also search by duration if you want a really long, say having a really long video, I want something that's over 10 minutes. Apply. And now you've got all these really long songs that I can use as well in my video can also search by genre and then here you can click if you want it to be cinematic or classical and you've got all these different genres to choose from. Let's choose cinematic, apply. And again, you've got the genre, the mood, cinematic and calm, for example. And if you like this artist, you can click filter by artist, and you'll see all these different ones here. Then I can actually go like this close off this search and now it's showing me all the different Steve Adams uh, songs in case I really liked this artist. Okay so um, right here under YouTube help on Google it says note only songs from the official YouTube audio library are known to YouTube to be copyright safe. YouTube is not responsible for issues that arise from royalty-free music from YouTube channels or other music libraries. So all of these songs that are on the YouTube library are royalty free and you can use them freely in your videos. Um, what they're trying to say is there's a lot of YouTube channels that say it's copyright free, royalty free music, but that's not guaranteed. Um, the only stuff that is guaranteed are what you find in the audio library. So these are four different websites or ways that you can use free royalty free music within your projects and videos. So you can make your videos for social media or for YouTube more engaging and uh, more dynamic depending on what your genre and what your niche is. I hope you liked this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And thank you once again for watching.